Hello everyone. Well, this video is a little bit topsy-turvy for me because I'm filming the intro after I've done all the demonstrations, but at least I can tell you exactly what you're about to see if you choose to watch the full video. This is Shark's limited edition Black Friday vacuum cleaner. At the time of making the video, they have about 50% of the stock left but obviously it's a good price. It's just about 200 pounds for the machine. You also get an under appliance wand. You get the car detail kit and you also get a set of spare filters. So if you want one, you need to head over to Shark's website, Pretty Sharpish. I'll put a link below. Full disclosure, I was given this machine free of charge to do a written review on their website. I didn't have to make this video or the unboxing video that I made um, earlier in the week. I think it was Monday. So if you want to see that, I'll put a link to that video as well. So in this video, you're going to see the cleaner in action. I'm going to show you how it picks up on hard floors, various different sized particles from a hard floor. I'm also going to test its pet hair cleaning ability using the main nozzle and also the pet hair tool. I'll show you the filters at the end. It's, it's uh, quite an involved video. It goes on for about 25 minutes, but I show you quite a lot of things. I don't think there's much I haven't covered, but if there's anything that uh, I haven't mentioned or you want to know the answer to, just comment below the video and I'll do my best to answer those questions. Okay, let's get on with the demonstrations, starting with the hard floor demo in my kitchen. Okay, well I'm in my kitchen now and I've put down various sized particles of dirt onto my kitchen floor to see how well the shark copes with it. So we've got some flour to represent fine dust, rolled oats, lentils, some multigrain hoop cereals and some rice. So I'm going to use the shark on its hard floor setting and I'll pass it through the middle of these lines of dirt and we'll see how well it performs. Well, it's almost a clean sweep, certainly for the rice, the cereal, the lentils, the rolled oats. But for some reason, it didn't pick up the flour on the first go. So we'll run the machine again over the flour. Obviously, this is an extreme example. I don't expect you to have lines of neat dirt across your floor, but uh, it's what I do. You know, it keeps me happy, keeps me off the streets. But hopefully I'm going to be able to clean all this up before I have to empty the bin. There is a max fill line on the shark, so I don't really want to go over it. Okay, I'll just, just pick up the rest of the dirt, shall I? Well, as you saw, the flower took a couple of extra passes, but the shark did get everything I put down, including the fine flower. There isn't a hint of anything left on this floor. Everything is now in the bin there. And you can see a nice little bit of uh, <laughs> design there, different colors. But yes, it's very, very good on hard floors. In the past, upright cleaners weren't good at hard floor cleaning. 
but the Shark with its Duo Clean Brush Roll is one of the best uprights I've used. And what I like about the Shark is that you don't have to bend down to adjust any settings. You can just use your thumb to switch from carpet to hard floor and the Shark does the rest. On most types of hard floor, such as stone, wood and laminate, you shouldn't have to adjust the suction. But on certain vinyl floors that aren't stuck down, you might have to reduce the suction, which you can do via the suction control. So if you find the machine sticking to the floor or the floor sticking to the machine, you can simply lower the suction using this lever here. Emptying the shark is straightforward. You simply release the bin take the container outside and you press down on this latch and all the dirt will empty out of the bin. If any dirt gets caught in the upper part of the bin, you can open the top and uh, clear any debris that might have caught around the central shroud. Okay, well, I'm just going to empty it now, <laughs> not in the bin, but I'm just gonna empty it back onto the kitchen floor. Why not? Oops, oh dear. And we'll see if the shark can pick all this up. While I'm in the kitchen, I thought I'd show you the under appliance wand that comes complete with this Shark limited edition vacuum cleaner or can be purchased as an optional extra to fit most other Shark models. So this is designed to go under your major appliances or under any large pieces of furniture that only have a small gap. You can see it's got a large suction inlet there. There's a little brush on the end. It looks quite long but that's not long enough to get right to the back of the wall. So you simply press the button and you can extend it even further. It's can't really see how long that is because it's too big for the picture, but it will certainly get under my fridge freezer. You can fit the under appliance wand direct to the handle as shown here, but you can fit it also onto the end of the wand which saves you stooping or bending. So now I can take this very flexible and large nozzle right under my fridge freezer. Pet hair can be quite a challenge for many vacuum cleaners, especially pet hair in this quantity. I managed to get this off my Dash and Daisy earlier today, and this is sort of the under belly matted hair that I need to get off using a special tool, and it does tend to stick to whatever it goes on. So I've rubbed it in well, but also something I've never used before, but I know it is quite difficult to remove, is the lint from a tumble dryer. I've collected some lint up, rubbed it on, and uh, we'll see how well the shark with its duo clean and anti-tangle pet hair brush roll picks it up. It'll be interesting to see at the end of these demonstrations how clean the brush roll is. And I've even left some quite large clumps of hair as well as rubbing it well into the carpet. I've left some bigger pieces so 
if the brush roll is going to tangle, this is when it will tangle up. So let's give it a go. Of course, we're going to use the shark on full suction power and on its carpet setting. So first of all, we'll go through the middle of Daisy's hair. Fairly impressive and it's done a lot better than some vacuum cleaners I've tested but it's obviously it's not. I don't know if you'll be able to see there are still lines of pet hair and if I rub it we'll be able to reveal that the two passes wasn't enough but obviously look it's an extreme example you'd only get this sort of pet hair if you're grooming your dog in the living room but normally obviously the pet hair is dispersed all around the home and you can't really see it until it ends up in the container of your vacuum, of course, your bag if you have a bagged machine. Okay, well, I'll just try the lint now from the tumble dryer, see if the shark does better on that. And yes, it has done better. So the lint, although it is quite difficult to remove, is easier to remove than the pet hair. Although it is, I can see traces of it still. Anyway, I'm going to use the shark until all this area is clean. I'm sure it will eventually clean all this pet hair and tumble dry lint from my carpet. Well, the carpet is clean. I won't lie to you. It did take multiple passes, but it was an extreme mess. But all that mess that was on the carpet is now in the bin. I have gone over the max fill line. As you can see, it's right to the top, but the central shroud has remained clear. But if I'd continued cleaning up more mess, I eventually would have started to block that up. But obviously you're not supposed to pick up an extreme example. This is just for show, to show you what the shark can do. But yes, it's picked up this. Plus, actually, there's some dust mixed in with the hair. If I take it all out, there's some fine powdery dust that was also hidden in the carpet. So. I think now's a good time to take a look at the anti-hair brush roll just to see how clean it's remained after that demo. So if I just turn the machine over, we'll have a closer look. Wow. That's the brush roll. And as you can see, there is nothing caught around that. That is pretty impressive. Now I've not edited this video, I've not cleaned this brush roll, just pretend that it's done the job because if you own one of these or you decide to try one out, you'll see for yourself that the brush roll on the whole remains pretty clean. Obviously the brush roller here is free from any debris. Oh, there's a little bit. I do, yeah, got to prove it. Look, there is a little bit of dog hair look on the brush roll, but the brush roll does come out and you can actually clean that. You can't actually remove the main brush roll, 
though you can remove the base plate to give you more access and also to check for blockages. You don't need a screwdriver, you can use a coin. I'm just going to use this steel rule. But there are three little screws just to turn to the unlocked position. And then this whole base plate comes off and then you've got easier access. You shouldn't, as I said, you shouldn't need to clean the brush roll of any threads, fibers, pet hair, whatever, even long human hair. It should stay clean due to a combination. I don't know if you can quite see, just at the back there, there's a yellow comb and that helps to keep the brush roll clean in combination with these flexible blades. But you can also see when I've got the base removed, you've got easier access to the suction path should you get a blockage. Obviously, pet hairs don't just end up on the carpet, they also end up on the upholstery, on your stairs, on your pet bedding. And if you take your dogs in the car, obviously they're going to leave some hairs behind. So with this model, you also get the pet turbo brush which incorporates these blades as well. So this is an anti-hair wrap technology nozzle as well, because there are no brushes. We just have these rubber blades. If you need to clean it out for any reason, it does come apart. I'll just show you. Just need to push it, that's it. So there you can see the inner workings. And this machine actually uses the airflow from the motor to drive this turbine, which in turn, via the belt, drives the brush roll. Well, it's not really a brush, but uh, you know what I mean. So that rotates at high speed, but that could get clogged up from time to time. But as you can see, you can easily open it up without the need of tools, give it a clean, and then just click it back together. Well, while I've got the nozzle out, I might as well spread the hair or some of the hair anyway, back on the carpet and see how well this turbo nozzle performs. And again, I've not edited the video, I've just turned the nozzle around. And as we can see, despite all that hair and fluff, that brush roll is still clear and it should still be rotating just as well as it did before. And if I open it up, I'll just see if any of that uh, hair has got caught inside it's this way that's it now even the inside has remained pretty clear well i'm just going to do one final test with this turbo brush i'm going to try and clog it up by uh, trying to clean up a rather large pile of pet hair and fluff now obviously this is an extreme example and i probably will clog the nozzle and i wouldn't recommend you do it with your shark but I'm really putting this Black Friday Special Edition Shark through its paces because although it's a bargain, at the time of making the video, it's under £200 just, even though it's a bargain, it's still a very, very good vacuum. Well, let's see if we can finally block the shark's nozzle up using all this hair. <laughs> To be honest, I didn't think that would work. I thought it would clog the nozzle or certainly clog the turbine. But as you can see, wow, that has impressed me and I, I, it takes a lot to impress me. But I thought that would just block straight away and just jam up. But no, it sucked everything up 
into the container of the shark. Well, that is pretty impressive. My favorite feature of this vacuum cleaner and many of the other shark uprights I've tested is the powered lift away feature. Now earlier models and some current models have a lift away feature, but it's not powered. You can remove the suction pod for lightweight cleaning, for example, up your stairs, or you can take it out to your car, which is very useful. But when Shark incorporated the powered lift away, that really was a game changer for me. And it's yet to be beaten as far as a feature I really like in a vacuum cleaner. I've tested so many different cleaners over the years and they have many different features. But for me, features are no good if you don't find them useful. They're just a sales gimmick. But the powered lift away is certainly not a gimmick. I really love it. You just press a single button. It's just here on this model. It says lift away, quite easy. And then you lift the pod away. The hose does stay attached to what has come away actually. Just untangle the cord. The hose attaches via this little fitment here to the back of the wand, but normally a gentle tug and that comes away. So now you've got the lightweight suction pod, but you've still got the powered brush roll, just the same as if you were using it in upright mode. This means you can clean under low furniture, you can clean under your sofa, under low pieces of furniture, tables, etc., and still get the same cleaning ability as the upright, but obviously it's a much lower profile. And the headlights, the bright LED headlights, show you where the dirt is and also shows you if there's something underneath the furniture that you don't want to pick up. Cleaning stairs is much easier with the lift away feature and even easier when you remove the handle and the main nozzle and attach any of the smaller nozzles directly to the end of the handle. So for example, if you've got pets that like to sit on the stairs and leave their hairs, you can of course attach the anti-hair wrap turbo tool or you've got the option of putting any of the other tools, including the upholstery nozzle. Or if you want to do the edges of your stairs, give them a really good thorough clean, you can attach the crevice tool and the wooden parts of the stairs or your banisters, the rails, you can incorporate the brush and do all around the sides. And that's what I do on my stairs. Now for a really deep clean, and often stairs don't get as deep a clean as your main carpets because they're awkward to clean. It is possible, and I'll just show you now, to attach the main duo clean nozzle directly to the handle. So we just release the wand by pressing the wand release button and then click the handle directly into the duo clean brush roll. And now I do admit it's quite bulky and fairly heavy, but maybe once a month, if you want to give your stairs a really good clean, this is the way to do it. Well, that's the end of my video on this Shark Limited Edition Black Friday vacuum cleaner. Obviously, it is a limited edition in the UK, so it might have sold out by the time you see this video. But Shark do many other models, all with similar or the same features as this one. Powered lift away, I think that's a must. If you've got pets or long-haired humans in your house, the anti hair wrap brush roll is ideal, as well as the small brush roll. That really impressed me, didn't clog up or anything, so that is a boon as well. And of course, with the Black Friday edition, you get the benefit of the under appliance wand, and I haven't even shown you this little set you get. I'll quickly show you it now. This is your car detail kit. So it incorporates a small hose that fits onto the end of the larger hose and you get various small nozzles for doing all those small areas in your car, the uh, air vents for example, but it's also useful inside the home for cleaning your intricate uh, ornaments or even the vents on your hi-fi computer keyboards, that sort of thing. That also comes with this Black Friday limited edition, but as well as that, if you get it direct from Shark, which I think is the only place you can get it from, they will even throw in a spare set of filters so you can put a new set of filters in while you're washing the other set. Well, finally, as I've mentioned filters, let's have a look at the filters of this cleaner 
to see how dirty they are after I've done these demos. And obviously I have been using this cleaner around my home for a couple of weeks as well. So we'll see how dirty the filters are. You can see the filters every time you remove the bin for emptying. It is, I have to admit, I mean, I have done some extreme demos today and you can see there's a bit of dust on the inside there. You can just remove that with a damp cloth. And here is the filter R. Well, because I've picked up a lot of flour, this is what's going to be on this donut shaped filter. Internally though, it's still pretty clean, but that will, will benefit from a little bit of a wash. I have done some extreme demos. You can also wash this part as well. There is another filter underneath. Again, you can see the flour has managed to get through, but you're not gonna be picking up that amount of flour in one go. I find by doing extreme demos, the filter gets dirty pretty quickly, but during normal use, everyday use around your home, it shouldn't get as dirty as this so quickly. People have complained the filters get dirty, but I've found it doesn't really lose performance for quite some time. I think Shark recommend every three, three months, but personally, maybe every one to two months, depending how often you use your Shark. But at least with the spare set you get with this, you can put the new clean set in while you're drying the other set. And they're so easy to clean. The felt filter under there is washable, as is the sponge. You can rinse this part. I'm just gonna pop it back for now. But to maintain the suction power, you do need to maintain the shark as you'd have to maintain any bagless vacuum. Keep it emptied, observe the max fill line. And obviously you don't really have much maintenance to do with the brush roll because it does keep itself clean. You might have to pop out the roller from time to time to give that a clean. And if you need to check for blockages, as I showed you earlier, you can remove the base plate of the duo clean brush roll. So there you go. If you have any comments or questions about this vacuum or any other shark vacuum, please comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.